Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In the previous session, we learned an overview about Release Manager. In this session, we will learn about packages and releases in detail. In this session, we are going to cover how to create a new package, how to modify an existing package, and also we will learn how to delete a package. Along with that, we will learn how to create a new release and how to import a release which is already created. And also we will verify the releases as part of this session. Let me remind you about packages and releases once again. Release Manager allows a bundles of component to be defined as a package. The created package can then be exported into a file as a release. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Navigate to Releases. Over there you will find the Releases tabs as well as the Package Overview. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new package. So how can I go ahead and create a new package? Right click on the Package Overview and then you will find a new package and new release. As I defined, as I explained previously, you can't create a new release if you have not created any new package. Now let me go ahead and let me create a new package. Once you have clicked on that, you will find a wizard create package. It will say choose a name, which name that you have to select based on your project that you are going to create a package. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the name as student project just I'm going to give it name whatever the name you want you can go ahead and you can give the names over there and after that click on next if you see over here it will ask for the description so this package what is the description about this package if you have any description please go ahead and enter the description as of from what I'm going to do I'm just giving the details as student project process and objects I'm just giving the name a description like this and then I'm going to click on next. Now if you see over here, I can find the configuration of the package. What are the package, what are the processes, business objects, work queues that as part of this environment. So I'm thinking this is as I'm assuming this is as my development environment. So that what are the package that I'm having? You can see over here, right? The processes, business objects, work queues, calendars schedules, environment variables, tiles, and dashboards. You can find all these things which are available in the particular environment. Okay, in my environment, what I'm having, if you see the processes, I'm having a lot of things. So I just given the name as student process, right? I'm going to select any processes, whatever they required. Okay, for the time being, what I'm going to do, I'm just selecting practice session for the multi-calculation. Let us assume this is my package which I have modified, which have been created for this package. So that just drag and drop this processes onto right hand side. You can see over here, when you once drag and drop, you don't find this processes on our left hand side. Okay, in the same way, what I'm going to do, I'm just dragging test sample process onto right hand side panel. Now you can see over here, in the same way, if you have any business objects, let me go ahead, let me just uh, I'm just going to select my first object over here and I'm going to drag and drop to the package. Now, apart from that, I'm not going to do anything as of now. And then I'm going to select next. It, you know, it will complete the package creation and then you can go ahead and you can finish it. So until now, we have seen how to create a new package. Okay, now if you want to find it out the package details, how can we go ahead and you can find it out? See over here on the left hand side where hang the packages, right? You can see the student project is the just package we have just now created. And you can see on the right hand side, the package details panel displays the full details about the package. The name, the description, and the created, and the created by, and what are the contents that we are having. And you can see, the releases also but as of now we don't have any releases about this package for this package right until now we have seen how to create a package now i want to create a new release 
So what is the thing of the release? If you see over here, well, if this package I want to release as part of September or October release, let's assume for the next upcoming release, so that what are the releases that I'm having, I'm going to, uh, you know, this content I'm going to release uh, from one environment to another environment, or else one, one environment to another environment, I'm going to transfer this package. Okay, so that what I have to do, I have to create a new release on the top of that one. How can I go ahead and I can create a new release? There are two ways I can go ahead. You can see over here, there's a new release that I can go ahead and I can create a new release or else if you see on the left hand side, I'm going to select my package, right click on that and then you can go ahead and you can create a new release. Okay, if you see over here, the create release, I'm going to say, I'm going to release this package as part of September or else, you know, based on, you know, environments or else, you know, based on your company, pub, company methodologies, you are going to release these packages, right? Right now, what I'm going to say, I'm just saying September 18, that I'm just, I'm just giving the release name as September and the year I have mentioned it, and then I'm going to click on the next. If you have any release notes, you can go ahead and give the release notes. So I'm just saying this release belongs to September 2018 okay and if you have any content over there you can go ahead and you can mention it but as of now I don't have any content I'm, I'm not going to mentioning any content as part of this and I'm then going to click on next and if you see over here it is going to ask where you have to choose the output file where you have to store it so as of now that what I'm going to do I'm going to store this release on my desktop okay and then I'm going to click on next Once the exporting release has been completed, you can go ahead and you can finish it. And then going to desktop, you can see over here the September release. The extension of this release is .bp release. Now let me go back to my you know, virtual uh, workforce and you can find the September 18 over here. You can see the tick mark over here it is nothing but you have created a new release on the top of that one. Okay, now we have seen how to create a package and we have seen how to create a release, right? If you want to get the details of the release, okay, just click on the release. The release details panel displays the full details about the, about the release. You can see the name over here, description created by, and you can see the content over here. Okay, so for this release, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, selecting the same package, what are the packages that we are having in the package we are having the process, uh, sample process and the objects, right? Now we have seen this one as you know, as a new release. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to modify the package as of now. Okay, I will show you what is the reason. So I'm going to select in this package and if you can see the modify package over here on the right hand side panel. Or else we can go ahead and we can modify the package from the right clicking on the package and then you can select the modify package. Now if you are going to change the name, you can select change the name and then you are going to click on next. If you want to modify any package description, you can go ahead and you can modify it. And then I'm going to click on next. Now the main thing is that, see as of now in the previous one that we have selected, only pro practice session info for multi-cal and after the test sample process you have selected from the processes and the, from the visible from the VBOs that you have selected first object. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one more, uh, you know, processes on the top of that one. Let me drag and drop onto my panel and then I'm going to click on next and I'm going to finishing it. If you see the package has been modified. But whereas if you see in September 18, this is the release, but I can't find it that pack that, uh, you know, modified package. I don't find it over here. Now you got the difference, right? So when I have modified it, the modified package details will not affect to the release. If you want to affect that release, go ahead and, uh, you know, create a new release on the top of that one. And then I'm just giving sept, just giving the names as you know, 2018-second package or, or second release that I'm going to say it and I'm going to click on next, next and I'm just giving the 
you know the extension you can see over here September 2018 hyphen 2 and the extension of this one is dot BP release and then I'm going to click on next and finishing it now if you see in September 2018 you can find that package which is the modified one okay if you're going to modify the package okay you have to create a new release on the top of that one every time but it won't affect to you know the existing releases based on that no if if you see there's no modification over there on the top of the releases once it has been created you want to deleting it you can go ahead and you can delete the package or else it, it's just going ahead like that okay till now we have seen how to create a new package modifying package now we will see how to delete the package right click on the package and then if you're going to deleting it that if you want to delete the entire package okay what will happen just now I know I'm not going to delete the student package there's a test package that I'm going to deleting it right click on that you can see over there I'm having already multiple packages on multiple releases on the test package now what I'm going to do I'm going to delete the package so that the entire release also will be deleting it now you can see there's no packages and releases with the name of test packages okay now we will see how to import a pack how to import a release okay so what I'm going to do for the time being what I'm going to do I'm going to importing the same September 18 package into my same system or dev environment because of I don't have multiple environments as of now like production environment or else you know multiple bots architecture I don't have as of now so in future I will show you how to create multi bot architecture also but for the time being what I'm going to do I'm going to import the same September 18 18 release into my same environment for that one what I'm going to do I'm going to set student process there if you see over here what is the no I'm just going to delete this processes for the time being to show you how it is going to be importing okay okay the, the logs already having I don't know I can't delete this thing until unless if I can't delete this releases okay anyhow that I will I will delete one of the package at least okay you can see that double three D that I have created one of the processes and you can see go back to my releases and you can see in the September 2018 I'm having the double three D is the process okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to import the same release so that the in the studio I will find that processes over there okay how we are going to import the releases okay first of all right click on the package right click and import release it will ask you to choose the input file so browse it On the desktop that have shared, you know, stored that packages, you can see September 2018-2.bp release. Select that one and then open it. Okay, going next. If you see over here, resolve import conflict because of this. If there is already existing packages, you want to modify it. You want to, you know, the process, all those things. If you want to resolve this the incoming process has been published do you want to publish the process yes the practice session for multicast if there is any if you want to import do not import this process or assigning a new ID or at the existing incomes if there is any kind of thing if you want to you can select ahead and you can do that as of now that what I'm going to do double three D I don't have this incoming processes I want to publish it on my studio and also practice session I want to overwrite it because I already having this file so this is all about the processes right now going ahead and I'm going to click on next now if you see the September 1 hyphen 1 has been with the name of hyphen 1 has been imported into the database click on finish now you can see the same uh, name but you can find it out with the index of one over there because it is not overriding this September 2018 it is going to create a new release which I am going to importing it now based on our you know discussion that double three D has to be imported right let me go ahead let me expand the processes you can see that double three D has been imported successfully 
okay by using you know this import release that we can find it uh, you know that we have imported from one environment to another environment in the real time scenario what will happen this package has been import uh, you know transferring from one environment to another environment so that you will find like dev environment production environment so that you can easily understand you can easily import the releases over there right this is one uh, this is one of the way that you are going to import the release but there is another way also go to file you can see over here the new releases how you are going to do the creating the packages everything creating from the package existing packages all the things you can go ahead and you can do that or else you can go ahead import this thing and you can select the releases over there and you can go ahead and you can do that if you want to create a new release over here you can go ahead over here right click on that one and import you can find it you can uh, if you want to import it or if you want to export it go ahead file and you can see a new release over there if you want to create an existing or the ad hoc go ahead and you can create the release on the based on the existing thing this is one of the way that we are going to do this is another way that we are going to create a new releases okay now what i want to do i want to uh, you know verify the release how can i go ahead and uh, verify the release but if you see over here i'm going to right click on the release and then you are going to verify the release so with which release i want to verify it now what i'm going to do i'm going to select sp bp release and then i'm going to click on next so you will find no differences between september 18 is up to date and you don't find any differences over there and the you know the release has been updated successfully and then you are going to finishing it so what is the purpose over there if you see over here there the differences if there is any differences you can find it out or else if there is any no differences you can't find it out but why we will do this so so from one release to another release if you want to modify all these things and then you know based on uh, you know we don't want to get any kind of conflicts if you want to modify all these things you are going to do this kind of verification by using verify release keep watching if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section thank you